All right, guys, this is another video here on the Pistol X 68 uh, from Defense Innovations or Mercury Rise. Um, yeah, we just done a CO2 test and we got with a 12 gram 51 joules. Um, I went and connected the 360 adapter from HP adapter, it's a degassing and a HP adapter for. You can do HPA tank setups or any kind of CO2. So, but this is from Home Defense 24, their version. Um, this is only, I believe, an 800 psi tank. So yeah, we're gonna try with the Grindberg Jewels, the eight gram Jewels. Let me just set this up on the mount here. Um, I don't know. This is undrilled out, so it's unmodified right now. Um, I just want to see if it's gonna make a difference. Or how much difference if I need to drill it out or not but I think Dan Sterling did some testing and he's come to a conclusion that you don't need any so I'm gonna try it without drilling it first so yeah why not and if all goes good you get good numbers like this then I'll, I'll try the 1100 <clears throat> um, yeah all right so um, Okay, so I have it here. Um, this is the 360. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are getting that all in there, but yeah, so you can spin it this way as well. I'm gonna make a, I'm in the middle of making a, a device that locks this, so either way, I have it locked in certain carbine builds. But, yeah, I'm going to make some that locks this right in here. Anyways, I just was want to see if it's going to be like a normal. I should expect around a CO2. It's around the same power as CO2, 12 gram, or maybe give or take in the same area. <sighs> as they're both roughly the same, depending on temperature. 800, 850, 900. <sighs> This is 800 though, HPA. Um, yeah, okay, so. Oh, wait, I'm getting gassed up. Uh, okay. So. 317, so that's a little low compared to CO2. Well, then again, this is 800. When I pressure crack my CO2s, I get 850, 900 with the 12 grams, so. 312, yeah, it's Sterling used 850 and he got a little bit higher too, so. He was getting right around the same numbers as CO2, so. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty much, it's not as high as the CO2. Um, this is stock, let me just degas this. Uh, I gotta get those. Okay, so we're degas. I'm gonna fire shock because Sterling was also showing in his video that after you degas, it's still pressurized, and his was still firing. So I want to see if that's the case with mine. Okay, we're empty. So far in all my tests, we've been empty. I don't know. He may have a bad one. He's got a bunch of them, so I don't know if he's tested all of them. I'm sure he's going to, but or after seeing this, he might. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm going to take this tank out. <clears throat> like, this is unopened. It looks like barely a one millimeter port opening. Where we drill the Umrex restrictors to 1.5 millimeters, 1.6 max. Hold on, I got to go get a couple of those jewels. <clears throat> Yeah, like I'm surprised the HPA isn't a little bit higher because there's no CO2 in there now, empty 12 grams, so that should be an extra air plenum, chamber space. But 
I think I'm not sure though like the restriction is very tiny in, a, in an Umarex gun when you shoot through a one millimeter hole with HPA you get way less power than CO2 but uh, yeah so that's very strange I find and the fact that um, here, hold on. I got six more in here. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, shit. It must be going to reach. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Jewels. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable yet running all this 1100 PSI yet, but this is unmodified, so yeah, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> okay. So, oh, I didn't re-lube. Shit. Anyways. So it's 372, 369, 362. Okay, so I'm just going to degas this. I just wanted to get an idea. So, yeah, with 1100 PSI, I think we got better numbers with the 12 gram. <clears throat> 370 I think we got or something like that So yeah, once again, I'm gonna fire another shot just to see if they're still holding it in the chamber And it is <clears throat> Wow <clears throat> See that I just degassed I degassed the marker look there's no tank in it see and You heard it go Psht. and I just pointed that time Last time I pointed it, it was empty. This time, it was uh, it was live. So guys, check that out, man. After you degas your marker and, and your CO two is done, it can still hold uh, the, the chamber still pressurized. So this is the second time now I'm seeing this. I've seen it in the uh, Dan Sterling's video, and now it just happened in mine. But yeah, I'm not even gonna bother chronographing because I don't think we hold on. Wait. Actually, we did get a little higher, I think. <clears throat> uh, not much. Around the same. So, 372. <clears throat> yeah, it's only like 2 FPS more. <laughs> so, um, Yeah, so again, it's only like 51 joules, like, uh, it's pretty much the same as the 12 grams, so, the fact that we kicked it up to 1100, uh, it tells me that the passageway in my gun, in my marker, I can't speak for anyone else's or what I've seen, but, just in all my experience with these type of valves, um, when there's a restrictor in there, that's one millimeter or anything under three or four millimeters, then it just restricts the HPA's potential. It always does. But as we've seen, and, and Dan, he says his is wide open, and uh, yeah, uh, his shot, uh, his did good, so like, uh, but with this one though, 1100 psi should be giving us more with that big wide open chamber so um yeah i'm not going to be doing it any day soon but eventually i'm going to get the drill nut open and uh i'll check it out there i might, I might get another one and just strictly go for modifications like that but uh i don't know i just might i might keep one co2 but I don't know, still everything in my power says that once you just open that little tiny port because it's, you guys all know the CO2 restrictors, those little plugs, the caps that you stick up in there. Um, 
Like those are only stock. They come with like a 0 0.5 millimeter opening, like a little micro. You can barely even squeeze a fucking a hair through. You wouldn't even be able to get a hair into it. Pull a hair off your body and stick it in the hole. It's that tight. And we drill them out to like one millimeter, 1 1.5 millimeters, and then you get that little boost. And then when you connect HPA and you forget to take that out, like a lot of people mentioned in the groups, they forget to fucking uh, remove that plug. So when they shoot HPA, they're wondering why they're not getting full power. So they come into the group and they ask why. We just say, well, do you still have the restrictor in? And they're like, yeah, well, we'll get it out. And then they take it out and then boom, they're at the full power. Like now they're cracking out 60, 80, 90, 100 joules, whatever their setup is, right? But um, yeah, one day I'm going to open that up a little bit more because... It's just a logical thing to do because you've seen all my valves that I drilled open and cut open and all these restrictors. I mean, yeah, I'm just going by my past testing and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. I just not too eager to cut this one open yet because like it's a lot harder to get them when you're not in the USA. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit more risk. There's a lot more cost, and it's it's just it's crazy import and waiting, and it's got to go through customs, and you got to take a chance there because like they even reject normal air guns and stuff, and like uh, just basic HDRs. But yeah, like you've seen it yourselves. I got fifty-one joules with twelve gram CO two. I'm getting fifty-one joules with the eleven hundred. PSI but unmodified yet so yeah and then plus the HDR markers all have a valve block and shit so I don't think this one does because there's no way you'd be able to get 50 joules on a restricted a fully restricted like it looks to me like it's about a one millimeter opening which is twice the size of Umarex's Umarex is only 0 0.5 or some people even said 0 0.2, but I don't, I don't even think that's possible. That's barely even visible to the eye. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, y'all stay safe, take care, and have fun. Oh, yeah, and the one good thing about the HPA is, too, the, the consistency pretty much stays. So once I put this back in my carbine that I have to build, um, all those shots will be stay at, like, 52 joules, 51 joules, and 50 joules, 49. They'll all be at that, even down to the seventh shot. Because, um, yeah, I definitely want to get one of these for HPA, but like I said, I don't want to bust into this one and start ripping, drilling it, and this is a really good CO2 marker. I've been waiting, we've all been waiting for this forever, so I don't think I'm going to mess this one up yet. Yep, stay safe, guys. Take care.